is that I do not consult with reality whenever I make decisions about what I want to have in my life next. the thing is reality is fucking subjective it is what you think is possible at all times and if you're consulting your past to determine your reality and what is possible inside of life you will never reach what you want when we come up with ideas as a company things that we want to pull off we do not consult reality we don't say, is this possible? Because we would be funneling it through a filter that is not existent, that is simply designed to say, no, that's not possible. The filter is fucked. If you take action without that filter and you assume that everything that you want to achieve is doable, you will be able to do a lot more than you ever could have consulting. Like it's a waste of fucking time. Understand that. There is no part of execution inside of business where all of you are at that requires much thought. Think about that. Like we spend so much time thinking about, are, are we going to do this? Are we the type of person who does this? Can we pull this off? Will this work? We spend so much time on the fucking thought. You could have done 10 things, 10 iterations by that time. Stop fucking consulting with any form of reality. Ideation to execution immediately. Ideation to execution, no filter. That is the play. And we don't say these crazy things because they sound fucking cool or they're motivational. Like Julian and I looked each other in the eyes and said, we do not consent to COVID affecting our revenue period. Fucking exploded. Evolvo 3. We had three and a half weeks to go. Sold out event. Not one piece of logistics figured out. And it wasn't because of lack of preparation. Like our entire fucking life got pulled out from under us when it came to events. Reality, had I consulted, would have said, dude, you cannot, you cannot pull off a perfect event. In this amount of time, there's too many moving pieces and there is a lot of fucking moving pieces. But we just fucking did it. We just said it's fucking doable because we are us. Because we believe it is. Because Wake Up Wealthy fucking deserves it. Just like the people inside of your business, the people inside of your family, the people inside of your life deserve you to show up at that level. I wrote a comment earlier that the only irresponsible thing you can do in the entire fucking world is not find out what you are capable of. That is the fucking truth. Every single day when I look in the mirror, the only thing that I look for is, did you leave it all out there today? Did you fucking push hard? Dude, time is short. Time is short. Tyler Smith was at my house for the last couple of days and we were really like in deep conversation, pondering age, mortality, and like all of these things that really make you fucking think. What the fuck are you doing with your time? That's what you have to constantly be asking yourselves. I, fi I think of myself as a pretty efficient person. But when I start to think about how many days I have left with my fucking kids or how many times I'm going to see my parents in my life now that I've moved away, I start thinking a little bit harder about how I want to show up. I start going a little bit harder 
in the things that I do. I start being more present in every single conversation and situation that I have. I don't have time or energy to consult the past because I need to focus on right now. If I want to provide a good life for the people around me, I have to do it right now. A couple of weeks ago, Julian said something on the call that just fucking stuck, stuck with me. He said, good luck leaving the present moment. Good luck hiding from this thing. It's the only thing that can cure all of your goddamn problems. The only thing. Move the needle forward right now. Yeah. And one, one mistake we make is, like, you got to get this fucking straight, dude. It will take what you have to, to receive what you're waiting for. It will, it will require what you have. Like, you don't take your old car into the dealership and, tr and, and trade in 80% of it and, and, and hold on to 20% sneakily in the back. That's just not how it fucking works, right? It's going to require this. Like, old you cannot step through the threshold of the new you. Right? Like, you get like, dude, we talk about receiving, right? If anyone's done the new wealth expansion meditation, dude, it's got to get you in the energy of receiving. Because when we're judging things, we're not receiving, right? We're labeling things as this is the way it fucking is. The river stops, right? The river of life, the river of energy, the river of receiving. When we label something, when we judge something, boom, we fucking freeze the river of life and we go, this is the way it is because I know the way it is right? And these millions of things working on your behalf to lift you up and move you forward, you just fucking piss on. You invert your power against yourself. That's what happens, right? When we leave the present moment, that's what happens, right? I should be, man, I should be more successful than this. I should have more than this. I shouldn't have done that before. Fuck, shit, right? Like all you're doing is you're taking this intricately orchestrated series of events that are trying to work on your behalf and you're just going, nah, I'm going to stick to this shit in the past, right? Like, dude, like you can't receive when you're fucking white knuckled the whole time, right? You can like, it's one or the other. We say it all the time. Life isn't here to fuck you. It's not trying, like you're good. You're safe. What's around the corner is better than what is here right now. Your best days literally are waiting for you. But as long as you wake up every day and go, I'm thinking is past Julian today. I'm past Gunner. I'm past Miles. I'm past Mason. He knows what to do. He's got it. Dude, fuck past Julian and fuck past Mason and fuck past Miles. I want to, I, I, dude, literally you 10.0 is waiting right around the fucking corner. But if you go, I'm going to think this way because it feels familiar. I get that nice dose of cortisol and epinephrine when I feel unsafe. Therefore, I must perform and cling to these old things that don't serve me. That's what I'll do. It just doesn't fucking work, man. It just doesn't work. So a lot of us, like, if you really at a subconscious level watch yourself, a lot of the shit you do, you hold on to past things because they kept you safe along the way. And we do this subconsciously, right? Like, again, I do. I say it all the time. No one wakes up and puts on their to-do list, time blocks. Yeah, I'm going to fuck myself today. No one does that. I get that. 